BioNTech has announced that it plans to set up a new factory in Singapore to expand production in Southeast Asia. The German biotech company is also setting up a joint venture in China to produce up to 1 billion doses for the Chinese market. BioNTech is now supplying more than 90 countries worldwide and is expecting to ramp up its production to up to 3 billion doses by the end of the year. During a pandemic, this is the stuff that dreams are made of. Cominati, the mRNA vaccine developed by German startup BioNTech, was approved less than a year after the pandemic began. It's now mainly manufactured at BioNTech's new plant in Marburg, Germany. The hopes of many are pinned on its 450 employees. Work is carried out around the clock. When I'm not at work, of course it's fascinating, and I like to talk about it, especially when working on something so important. But at work, we're all focused on the here and now. It's important that everyone is focused on what they're doing next, so that no mistakes can happen and we produce the right quality. And the right quantity. After all, the pandemic is raging right now in many emerging countries like India. To help, U.S. President Joe Biden has proposed relaxing patent protections, but the pharmaceutical lobby is not willing to cooperate. It's because of scientific research that we now have drugs and treatments and medicaments and vaccines, but it's because of the patents that companies keep investing money into uh, looking for new treatments, better treatments, better vaccines, uh, better drugs, and and you would not have this kind of investment if, if there wasn't a, a proper reward for these companies. Plus, the industry argues that vaccine manufacturers are already ramping up production to the maximum. That's the case in Marburg. Employees there produced some 250 million doses in the first half of the year. Later, production will be ramped up to a billion doses or more. Construction is ongoing at the plant as it expands production capacity. It took less than six months from the purchase of the building to refit and start production. And that in Germany, which has a reputation for being painfully bureaucratic. It has to be said that the cooperation with the various authorities worked very well. When you build something new, you have all kinds of different people on board. Many people joined in and were very proactive. In the end, that helped everything go so quickly. Of course, you still have to adhere to all the regulations as always. For many emerging countries, however, the pledges are not enough. They want to produce the vaccine themselves so that as many as possible can get protection from the coronavirus. So BioNTech is ramping up production and the market seemed to like that. Uh, for more, let's cross over to Chelsea Delaney in Frankfurt. Uh, Chelsea, at least about an hour ago, I saw that shares surged. Investors seem to be pleased about BioNTech expansion plans. Well, indeed, the Frankfurt-listed shares of BioNTech are up about 10% today. The NASDAQ shares in the U.S. are also higher. Uh, I think for the big question for BioNTech has been, uh, will the pandemic boost for this company last? They, they really were put on the map by the pandemic and their, uh, their vaccine. They went from this relatively unknown, money-losing startup to a globally recognized name. But investors want to know if this is something they can count on for the long term. And, and now we're really seeing BioNTech uh, put forward forward plans for the future to, to build these uh, facilities and in, in other countries. Uh, they, they really expect the demand for COVID vaccines to last uh, for years. But they also, in, in today's announcement, said that they're going to plan on, on producing some other uh, of their treatments as well. They've been developing a lot of cancer treatments. They have other infectious uh, treat, disease treatments in the pipeline. Uh, so they really are laying out this plan to, to become uh, not just a, a German COVID uh, vaccine manufacturer, but a, a globalized treatment drug maker and investors are, are really liking that today. All right, quite a story there. Chelsea Delaney in Frankfurt, thank you so much.